what NATO can do, what NATO is doing and what NATO will do is uh, make it very clear uh, by in, indeed bringing extra fighter aircraft uh, to the Baltic states and, and some nations in Central and Eastern Europe. In my opinion, added by the Americans uh, bringing a combat brigade from the United States across the Atlantic into Central Europe uh, by certain forward deployments. But it's true, NATO is defending NATO territory uh, and nations who are not NATO members uh, will not trigger Article 5 of the NATO Treaty. Uh, but NATO will have to show, uh, as it is doing today uh, through meetings of the NATO Ukraine Commission, the NATO Georgia Commission tomorrow, that NATO was and is committed uh, to those nations in supporting them wherever NATO can, short of, indeed, waging war. That will not happen. Yeah, that very, very interesting answer there. You talk about maybe the Americans will be sending uh, extra troops over. I mean, hasn't Barack Obama's presidency all about, been all about ending wars rather than getting involved in new deployments? Do you think he really will send troops? I think uh, what, what the annexation, the land grab uh, of Crimea by Vladimir Putin, the first since the Second World War, uh, is a wake-up call for Europe as much uh, as it is for the United States president. So the Americans have been reducing uh, their forces stationed in Europe over the past decades and years. And I add for good reasons, because had we had this conversation six, seven weeks ago, I would not have given you these answers. NATO, NATO uh, is, 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 is back into its core business. And that includes, as we saw during the Cold War, that NATO exercises from time to time the way in which it can boost and reinforce its forces stationed in Europe, including American forces. So, I mean, President Barack Obama, uh, and, and I, I support him when he says uh, uh, winding down in Afghanistan, Iraq, etc. Uh, but uh, however the United States might like uh, to focus on Asia, uh, they already found out in the Middle East and they're now find, they're finding out in Europe uh, that the buck stops on the United States president desk as well as on European desks as we speak. So no one can avoid it. What do you think Vladimir Putin's strategy is? I mean, you, I, you said ironically what he has succeeded in doing is uniting NATO in a way that they haven't been before. But seriously, what do you think the strategy is now? Do you think he's just testing to see what it takes to provoke NATO, how much further he can go without anyone stopping him? Well, what Putin doing, I think, is, is, is carving out uh, a piece of Europe in his answer to uh, European Union and NATO enlargement, uh, where he wants uh, exclusive influence uh, to seal his near abroad, in other words. That near abroad, which is a phrase, as you know, the Russians have used a number of, for a number of years now, so what, what he's done in Georgia in 2008, uh, what he's done on Crimea, what he might, heaven forbid, do in the eastern and southern parts of, of, of Ukraine, what he might, heaven forbid, do in Moldova, in Transnistria, uh, what he's done in Armenia, convincing the Armenians not to sign the association agreement with the European Union, is carving out a piece of Europe, uh, changing and redrawing the map, and that's, that we cannot accept.